Hi, it's David B. and Cooley. We're doing TV Worth Watching's Best TV Tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, September 25th. I'm steering you towards a documentary, and like one that I steered you towards last week, it's kind of tough to watch, and so I'm trying to just warn you with my somber demeanor. It's called A Wilderness of Errors. It's based on a 2012 book by filmmaker Errol Morris who dove back into the Jeffrey McDonald murder trial and case. If you remember this, if you remember this, it's back in uh, uh, 1970 that Jeffrey McDonald uh, was accused of killing his pregnant wife and two young kids. And he had a story that it was outsiders that came in and did it. Joe McGinnis wrote a book about it. And it really caught my attention when it was made into a miniseries in 1984 starring Gary Cole. And what they did with that miniseries is that they showed almost like Rashomon, whatever, whatever person was telling the story, you would get their point of view. So you watch that miniseries and didn't really know uh, who had done what, and you sort of had to make up your own mind. This five-part nonfiction miniseries, with half of it tonight and the other half uh, next week, is is uh, on FX and then on FX on Hulu. But it's a little bit more blatant about what it believes. But it's a very interesting case that. I've never seen anything where all the questions have been answered. So if you, like me, remember the case, you might want to see this. The next thing I knew, I was awakened on the couch, and I was awakened by a combination of hearing my wife screaming for help and asking for me, and my older daughter, uh, five-year-old, five year old, uh, yelling, screaming for help, daddy, daddy, daddy. And my wife was saying, Jeff, Jeff, why are they doing this? Help, Jeff. And I started to push up. There was a little light on in the kitchen, which is a small apartment, and I, there was some light in the living room from this light in the kitchen. And there were, to my immediate view, three people. It turned out there were four, but... I saw three people, a black male, two white males. The black male had on an army jacket with E6 sergeant stripes. And in the ensuing struggle, there were two episodes of time, very, very brief, in which I saw what I took to be a white female in a, in a broad floppy hat with stringy blonde hair. And I heard her say, acid is groovy, kill the pigs. I heard her say that at, more than once and also the term acid and rain. It, it was raining out, outside at the time. But as I awakened on the couch, I didn't know what was going on. I heard my wife, I heard my daughter, and I saw these people, and I either said, and I to this day don't know if I said it or thought I was going to say it, you know, what the hell are you doing here? Who are you? What's going on? And the black male to my left raised something, and he swung a club at me, and I threw my hand up, and he hit me in the head with, with a club, which... I took to be a baseball bat. He drove me back to the, uh, the couch that I was sleeping on, and I, now my head was ringing, and I, and I it was having a hard time getting up, and my, uh, the, the comforter was still over my legs, and, but I pushed back up, and I'm, and I'm trying to, and I was getting struck in the chest and about the head, and I threw my hand up again and took another blow to the side of the head, and during this time, I suddenly developed a real severe chest pain. And I, I remember real distinctly thinking to myself, this guy throws a hell of a punch. Hmm. And I, I presume that was the, the stab wound that collapsed my lungs. <laughs>